Thank you so much for being here, Abigail. This is awesome. We were just catching up a little bit, but just to start, I am Laura Brody. I am the founder and primary curator for Opulent Mobility. And as a description, I am a middle-aged Caucasian woman with brown hair sitting in front of a full bookshelf with some art and plaster cast on my foot. And this is Abigail. Welcome. Hi, it's it's good to, it's really, really exciting to be here. And thank you so much for letting me participate Yay. in this. I'm Abigail Sanger. Um Description, red hair with <laughs> curly red hair, usually messy and um jewelry as my as my armor for whatever's facing me in the day and um behind me is a broom on the wall my sister made for me and bookshelves and artwork and lots and lots of light so you started you came into opulent mobility in 2020 when we were doing everything online when pretty much the world was online i did yeah it was actually one of the things that i found really appealing because you know, I come from old school when things weren't, especially in the art world, when it came to art submissions, it was always slides, you know, and mm. that's far gone. And the fact that you guys really were one of the first ones where I didn't have to send slides and it wasn't an issue <laughs> to submit. So I was like fortuitous in a time of, of trauma. It was really, it was good. So, yeah. You know, the goal is to try to make it a little bit easier, but really some <laughs> wonderful work. Um because you were working in a variety of different mediums at the time. You were, you were doing watercolor and you were starting to do work in Procreate. Um, what have you been doing? What's been your real thing lately? I honestly, I dove headfirst into the digital media. Um, it's been so, it's so much easier. Like I, I still, um, we're still building my studio um, on my, on my property right now. And life has like interfered as usual but um you know I really like the idea of having to to dive into oils and acryl acrylics but it's just not feasible still and the digital now that I'm getting more comfortable with the, the like output so doing the digital has been really easy really accessible and the technology is phenomenal right now you know um I was original with photoshop 20 years ago and to see even Photoshop is still great, but like Procreate is so user-friendly. And um, now, I mean, it's it's close to painting. It's really close that, you know, the only time that I really miss is like the actual mixing of colors, that that thing I do miss, but really digital is, has been where it's at. I mean, I, I always dabble as it goes because I can't ever just stay pure. I'm not a purist. Um, <laughs> but the digital is for sure procreate has been phenomenal and I and honestly I try to push any kind of what what people can afford you know what is accessible affordability and that's one of the things about it that's appealing is it's a one and done it's not a subscription it's not this constant because that's that can add up especially if like you're on a limited income or you don't have the newest computer to get like the newest update or whatever you know um so that in itself was, is really great. So, um, yeah. Very cool. I just Digital. wanted to share the picture uh, that you're being putting into the exhibit this year. Please do, please. It goes, as you were saying. Yeah. So. Painting. I, I can, <laughs> I can see that you're using it as a painter, as a painter, right? Mm -hmm. But, um, does that make it easier though, for you to say, put up the pill bottles? In procreate. Yeah, exactly. Right. So that's, so my process was, is um, I dove in like in two different ways. So I, I did this, a sketch on, um, on the whole general idea. So the, the kind of like the halo and the um, sacred heart around the woman in the foreground. And, um, and I just did, I used the, I think the charcoal brush tool on just a blank canvas. And then as soon as I did that, I threw color down with one of the paints and, and like ink and, and I think watercolor and oil uh, brush tool. And it wasn't even this color. The color is originally just like the tones off of her skin were just black, white, and like a light teal. And I just did the wash over the whole thing. So I just did the bare sketch and then I threw down the colors and then I sat with it. 
And then I started putting in the ideas and that's where the digital part, like you said, the pill bottles, I was like, oh, this is where I can really play. And I don't have to sit there hours. And I mean, and ultimately it was 59.4 hours, 60 hours of detail and layers. There's about 300 something layers on this one. Um, Dang. Because, yeah. And, and I mean, the little bit of extra time you gave us <laughs> for this deadline really helped because there was a few elements that I had to put in, but it was um, the stars, the catheters, the moons, and the pill bottles all are digitally duplicated and then resized accordingly. And I did that and not, I, I don't think I would have been able to get to that level that I wanted. And I also wanted to play with it. Like at first, you know, you think, oh, it's just like a, just like a clip art, but if you actually go in further, you can see that I, and if you zoom in, you can see um, there's actually far more detail. And that's kind of, I kind of do that on purpose is I want people to go like, oh, uh, you know, at first they'll think, oh, it's this bubble gum kind of like candy. But then if you actually take a second, there's a lot further, more things that you can see. Yeah. Yeah. I love the text that you put it. I love the adaptive devices that are in there. Can in the bands lurking in the bands yeah and that is actually so that's one of the things that kind of fed into this is I did those sketches of the mobility devices a few years ago and it's something that has I like I said I sit with it for a while and I let it kind of ruminate and but that's one of the things I really want to be visible right and be, and I, you know, I'm a spinal cord injury, so I'm a wheelchair user and that I tend to be a bit more heavy handed with that because it's what my reality is. But I also, so that's one of the things is I want to, people to see that it's not just a wheelchair, right? It's not, it's more than that. So, um, but so I'm glad many you saw more that. things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no, I love that, that this is very layered and you can get all of the details. Um, both Anthony and I were like, oh, Yep, this is amazing. You know, because you've you've really delved into it, I can tell. And the words, like the pill bottles, I mean, everything in this, it, it applies to the things that I have or that I presently deal with in my life, like at this point, and what it is to live with my disability and all the secondary issues. Because most people think, oh, like for spinal cord injury, oh, you're just like paralyzed from the waist down. Well, actually, no. It's not that simple. If only it were that simple. Um, and that's, and I wanted to do that. And it's um, one of the other things is um, with her, like it's not a self portrait because I, you know, but it is the, the experience is the self portrait part. And I wanted it shown like all those labels on the bottles. And I, and I asked a few of my disabled friends, like, what are some of the, cause I got to almost the end, but there was a few missing pieces. And I asked them like what they felt like in their disability, what a symbol would be, you know, what would mm. they use as a symbol that represents their experience within that. And um, my friend was the one that if you zoom in on the circle, she, cause I had shown her, cause I had the, the sacred heart circle and I had the wheel but she was the one that was like, why don't you put stitches, you know? And I would not, that I think it would, and I've tried it. I took the stitch, you know, it's one of the layers. I took the stitches out and it, the stitches, it's just this very slight detail, but it makes enough of a difference to me. And, um, and I think that kind of speaks to the whole experience, you know? Um, yeah. I so glad that you guys saw that with the, with the pill bottles and the words and like, yeah, that's, that's a relief. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Whoa. please ask something else. Um, <laughs> guide me on this. Like, no, it's good. It's, um, I know that uh, just trying to get everything together can be a challenge sometimes, but you are also doing quite a lot else, you were just telling me. So what is your other project going on right now? The um, big one. Well, um, there's, I'm working for the community. Is that the one you, you're saying you think I should talk about? Um, if I'm, you would I'm, like. Yeah, I'm, I'm very much trying to make arts in the community that I live in and specifically make it an approachable thing for disabilities and visible too. So it's not uh, patronizing, but um, 
just arts in the community. And then project wise, I have a, I have a couple of personal ones. Like I'm trying to dive into more of the, so one of the series I'm working on is about sensuality and bodies and, and not necessarily sexuality, but like intimacy, what is intimacy in the various forms in my life and in the people's lives around me. So trying to find portraits and just doing really, um, what is it? Not painterly, but like very simple charcoal, even though it's digital, I use the charcoal because I liked the grit and I liked the texture um, black and white of, of people in bed with their legs wrapped around each other or like somebody crying. And then there's like just um, a couple holding each other, their faces against each other, things like that. And trying to make it open, like love is love. So whether it's two men, two women, one of the people I want to do has, um, is an amputee, just trying to show it where it's not on display like oh look at these people this is what just it's just another form of intimacy and love and how do you address that and it's also for me personally you know letting people in having to be vulnerable and intimate even in places that you because of having the disability having to let people in because you, I need help I have to I have to show my soft side I have to show that vulnerable side and how do you balance those things and the artwork is part of that and trying just to find find the simple beauties in these kind of um scary things so that's that's one of the big projects that I'm, I'm building on I don't know where it's gonna go but um the little bit that I've shown I, I've gotten some pretty good responses which which feels good because you know I I do ultimately do it for myself right to help process but the fact that if I can inspire or kind of get somebody to think makes it even better so yeah. that's that that's one and then I have a personal family project that I'm doing um uh, my sister's a researcher and um she's a she's actually a doctorate of archaeology one of my sisters and on our side of her her big smart smarty pants job she's been doing a lot of our family research and we have a very funny convoluted family and she's been doing the family tree and I I'm making, I'm, I'm doing a digital form of it for her and not a traditional tree, but I'm doing symbols of each person and I'm going to put it all in one big format and give that to her because she's doing the research part, right? Um, and I want to make it beautiful. That'll um, be amazing. So yeah, those are, yeah. Hey, you were also talking about um, your, the um, disability chair. I am. <laughs> Which is. <laughs> ironic <laughs> since you do have a disability chair but also i, I have two <laughs> <laughs> i have two um i am disability chair for the tehama county arts council and um that it's pretty awesome the 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 arts in this area are phenomenal like I was, I, I don't know, earlier when we first started talking, I said, like, I feel like I'm waking up, like, after with COVID and everything, it feels like things are kind of, like, sparking out in the world, and it's happening in this area, the artwork, because there's, like, murals going up everywhere, there's, like, huge talks of different art, and people are starting to just do more things, and mm. it's pretty vibrant here for being a small city small town in the rural north Cal north california <laughs> and um yeah and one of the things so i'm trying just to advocate doing more art and disability and just awareness trying to have more awareness of like just know like, for people doing art gallery showings how do we make it actually accessible what can we do for the different disabilities, not just like physically how, and, you know, monetarily too, because people have limited incomes. How do we make it truly accessible? And then, yeah, so that, yeah, the community and then just trying to make art happen up here and not have to be so, <laughs> yeah. I think that's everything I wanted to say about that. <laughs> And is it more than plenty? I wanted to also show your work from 2020, if you don't mind. Please, please do. Only because it's what you were talking about about the uh, the intimacy work. 
there's something about that that seems really appropriate to that yeah the thanks the um that one was really just I guess identification who are we and like what is in us and and the color red that was really the color I this is gonna sound crazy that's really the color that I felt I felt like this deep passion um warm but also like there's the darker parts of it and um and just how much my life myself is dictated by my spine and the wheelchair you know um but it doesn't necessarily define me it's just part of me and I wanted to just show that yeah and that nudity I'm always about nudity that's <laughs> embrace I mean not nudist but just like learn to embrace the body that you have and try and celebrate even some of the flaws you know yeah I think that's such a crucial thing for us to do especially if we I don't know you see so many people like stuck on the notion of what is a standardized idea of beauty mm -hmm. but I'm really excited to see the people who are encouraging and celebrating diversity of body type, a body size, a body shape of gender identity, all of it, because okay. that that's part of what makes us human. And that's important. Agreed. And, and that's, that's, I think one of the things too, like with the artwork that I'm, that these, the pieces that you just showed on um, the red ones and the piece that I submitted for this year, it's, um, Kind of, I'm, I'm going to try and say this right to decorate how do you decorate oneself right like and, and embrace that like sometimes some you know like you should embellish what you want to like embrace what you have try not you know but also embellish like if if you don't like a certain thing then like your hair dye your hair cut it off do something like just kind of embrace that other part of yourself yeah have some fun with it uh why not have some fun with it, right? Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Because there there are so many obstacles and so many things that are no's in the in life. Yeah, yeah. have fun a little bit. You know, I, I think it's super important, uh, and that and that's what makes it real life. You know, not not just only structure and things must be this way. Things can also be joyous and you know, experimental. Mm -hmm. In fact, I think that's a way better way to live. Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. And that's one of my, I think, I think that's one of my life goals. I'd say presently, whether it's like with art or just like what I'm doing in the community is if I can help people find that way to express themselves, then all the better. I feel better because I, you know, I do these artworks myself to feel better, to express something that I can't, because sometimes I get stuck in my head with the words and my brain goes so fast and my mouth does not catch up. And I, so with the artwork, I'm able to just like show it and just put it, this is what I'm trying to say. And if I can help somebody else find their voice that way, if they can't find the words, then all the better. I want to keep adding to the, my disability life. And I'd like to kind of stick with the theme, but, at, you know, work with my friends that have different disabilities and get their version of it, you know? Um, we'll see. I, I'd love to like see where it goes with that one, but it, I, it's a lot more in depth. Yeah. I can almost see it as a tarot deck. Oh, that would be amazing. <laughs> oh, that would be amazing. That would be like every part of my life joined together. <laughs> I, I like I'm sparking inspired. some ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm absolutely inspired. Um, yeah. Oh, cool. Well, thank you again so much for being part of it. I'm really glad you were able to come on back and um, we'll do it again sometime. Oh my gosh. I'm spreading. I, I am honored. I am absolutely honored to be a part of this. I'm spreading every time there's a post or uh, just like when I'm talking to new groups, like with the community and, and like I'm working with um, the disability action center out of Chico. They're an independent living center. And I'm, trying to explain like arts and, and disability, I bring you guys up as an example. So I bring up Sins and Ballad out of Oakland as one. I bring you guys up and I'm like, this is what we need to do. This is what our community needs. We don't need just like 
freaking medical equipment and and doctors we need the arts part too 